Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of 20 Minutes Till Dawn. It's me, Cranberry. How's it going? Hopefully, hopefully you're doing well today. Uh, one thing I want to talk about here right at the start before we get into the actual video itself. If you're watching this right when it gets uploaded, maybe you'd be interested in watching a little live stream content. I should be. Again, this is this is when the video uploads. So if you're within like the first hour, two, maybe three hours of the video being uploaded, maybe come check out the Twitch. I should be live. If not, something has gone terribly wrong. Uh, oh well, too bad. Uh, but if you're if you're here around when the video gets uploaded, maybe come check out the stream. There's, there, there's usually a link in the description of all my videos for my Twitch channel. Come check it out. We're gonna be playing uh, Kaizo Ironmon uh, Fire Red Runs. If that sounded like complete and total gibberish to you, uh, it's basically just like a, a an extreme Nuzlocke uh, Pokemon run. And if you don't know what that is, uh, maybe come maybe come swing by the uh, the stream and ask what that is. But if you're not interested, no hard feelings. Uh, let, let's get into the actual video here. So I've been talking. People have been telling me uh, that Raven is the de facto best character for pacifist runs. And I, it makes sense to me. I don't find it that hard to believe. When I heard about the Abby crossbow thing, it was a little more skeptical. But this, this makes sense to me as being the meta build for pacifism runs. So the idea here, if you don't know, by the way, a pacifist run in this game is when you do not fire your primary weapon at all. You do all of your damage via um, via alternative sources, usually summons. Usually summons are how you do damage, but there are like, you know, uh, there are technically other ways to do damage, but they're not good. So uh, that's what we're doing here. We're playing Raven. We're going to be using, I think, the grenade launcher here for this video. There's there's genuine arguments to be made for using either the pistol or crossbow instead of uh, the grenade launcher. But I think the grenade launcher is just gigantic base damage is is too appealing to skip here with a with a with a raven build so let's go over runes real quick nothing too crazy here i wanted to say before in the uh in the what's it called uh shit the scarlet ghost friend run i think i i don't think the mysticism gun lifting is necessarily a bad idea but i do think it's important to note that you do get bonus damage off of power uh you know with, with your summons Something worth considering, the gun glyph mysticism thing really only pays out if you see Pyromancer or Pyromaniac for your first boss kill. If you don't see it, this package basically does nothing for you. So, something to keep in mind in there. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Well, well, anyway, moving on, moving on. Close combat, better than these because we don't really care about elemental effects here. Aftershock does literally stone cold nothing for us. Close combat occasionally might do some bonus damage if someone, you know, if the bird hits someone uh, in close quarters to us, right? Uh, we're taking glass cannon here. Again, the gun glyph thing, I mean, was kind of fringe playable for Scarlet. Here with Raven, it's going to be worthless. And in fact, with the grenade launcher, will actively hurt us. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go for glass cannon for the the bonus damage here. Uh, just kind of makes sense. We want to increase our base damage for uh, curse effects, and then cadence and ethereal are both useless. So we'll be using dedication here. Dedication doesn't really do that much either for us here. It's fine. Our bird, I guess, flies around faster because I think the fly speed is dictated by by summon attack speed. But the bird, I don't think, does any contact damage at first unless you get the upgraded bird. But then you have two birds, therefore nullifying dedication. So. It doesn't, there's just, there's just nothing good here, but we'll take dedication here because it is kind of a little bit helpful at first. And then shield side, pretty normal stuff here, nothing too crazy. We can't use courage. We can't use like elemental shield. You can maybe use seismic ward here, but I think I'll just take momentum. It's fine either way. Nothing too crazy. Let's pop in. Uh, the reason, if I didn't mention it, yeah, I did mention it before probably, but maybe I didn't. The, the reason why you would want to use revolver or crossbow here, which has the same base damage. Um, the reason for that is uh, splinter. Splinter will be pretty powerful for this build. But um, it's a little dubious with grenade launchers. So we have to be careful about that. Uh, Revolver and crossbow let you take splinter, but just you know, one third less base damage is a, is significant. So I'm gonna opt for grenade launcher here. We'll see how it goes. And we're gonna be playing on forest over pumpkin patch. Uh, it's just I'm sure you can I'm sure you can win on pumpkin patch with this build, but you just need like godlike RNG. And even then, I don't think it's necessarily even worth it. So. Yeah, that's the idea, at least there. Now, it is, it is nice to have the bird actually kill things for us, as opposed to Scarlet having to wait an entire minute before you can fight any enemies. That's pretty cool. Now, this, though. 
I mean, I guess, I guess Assassin is good for us still. So we'll take take aim here. Lowering enemies' base HP will be useful. That's for damn sure. Um. Yeah. How are you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. I just got back from work. Pretty normal day. Had no actual customer show for axe throwing. Oh, Dark Arts here is really good. We do need to get Ritual ASAP. I had no actual customers show up today for axe throwing, but I had a lot of repairs I had to do. So I, it was a productive day of just me repairing the uh, axe throwing targets, which is nice. Um, I do... I, 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 I bet people will just be nice and say yes to this. But I, if I ever did any like sort of like IRL content, I would like to do maybe a video. Uh, oh, these all suck, huh? Uh, yeah, these are all terrible. I'll take magnetism here, I guess. I would like to do maybe a video of me like uh, doing axe throwing. I don't think it would be like a guide video, but maybe I could do like a video on like how to axe throw. I don't know. And maybe be interesting. The weird thing about axe throwing, so when I got the job, I learned from the guy, ooh, I think Magic Spear here is really good. A sniper is really good for assassin too, but I think you gotta take a Magic Spear right now. Um, so the, the guy who taught me how to, uh, the guy who taught me how to axe throw, I think he did a good job of teaching me how it works, but my problem with it is that like, I don't know if he really knew what he was doing either. I feel like, and I, I've noticed this more so in archery, because I do archery instructing as well. Um, I've noticed that like, a lot of people A, are self-taught, and B, don't know how to do the thing they've self-taught themselves. Like, I've seen a lot of people just hold a bow incorrectly and be like, oh yeah, I've, I've, I've shot a bow for 15 years, I know what I'm doing, and they just like, they don't know how to hold it, they just do not know how to hold the string at all. Magic Sight is tempting here, but we already have the Magic Spears. I think we want to go for a Soul Reap here and start getting some Soul Powered slash uh, Soul Powered slash Soul Link slash I don't know synergies maybe. I and mean, that should be fine. Either way, I want this. This is a good perk for us for sure. This, this is a very. This feels like a very good start. I want to get Ritual ASAP. That's probably my number one priority here. But these are all really good. Maybe, maybe soul power is number one priority. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. I don't know what I want. You know, I'm, I'm gonna say it. Maybe this is maybe this is so brave yet so true. Uh, oh man, soul drain is really good here. Holy spear is really good here. But a uh, ghost friend too. I think I gotta go doom though. I'm sorry, but I think we just need ritual asap. I think this is the way to go. Also, I just lost my shield, damn. Um. I know, I was talking and I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, people being self-taught and stuff. Like, there's people who have definitely, you know, in, in the archery world have a lot of different opinions about what even is correct, too. Um, that's like a genuinely, like a debatable topic as well. So, um... With axe throwing, I imagine it's even more of the wild, wild west out there. The person who taught me, I don't, maybe he self-taught himself and he taught me incorrectly how to throw an axe. I don't know. So I don't feel like I could be an authority on how to, you know, correctly throw an axe. But I think it would be maybe fun just to do for like a video. Just me, me and the boys out on the axe throwing range. The only issue is, is that I don't want to dox myself and the place that I, that I work at specifically. Oh, Age Dragon here, beautiful. A trainer here is obviously very good as well, but the sooner you get Age Dragon, the better here, so. Gotta take that one right now, I think. Um, you know, I'm realizing too, we don't even need actually uh, uh, Dragon Bond. We actually prefer Train Dragon here over Dragon Bond. First time in a while that's ever happened. Um, but yeah, the, pro the problem with doing that, at least at the place that I work, is that, uh, it, the, it has like the, there's like a little sign above the targets that is the name of the location I work at, which would not be good for a video. <laughs> so I would either have to, uh, oh, this is really good actually. Uh, I'd either have to, uh, 
that's bullshit, but whatever. Uh, I'd either have to block out the thing somehow, like, I have, have to like censor it, like it, it, post production wise, or uh, inside the picture. No, I'm gonna keep going with her. I think this is pretty solid here. So I'd either have to uh, post production, uh, like blur out the sign above it, or I could like physically, like you know, put like a, a thing over it. Right, I could put like a like a piece of tape over the sign or something like that, right? Block it out. Um There's ritual, okay, poggers. Very important for us here to get the ritual. Oh, uh, I guess you know how here's an interesting question. How important is it for us here to get uh uh Black Plague, Death Plague, I forget what it's called actually, the perk is. But how important is it for us to get the Reaper round uh the Reaper round curse energy. And my guess is that it's not that important, but it probably wouldn't hurt either. Would probably be okay in general, if I had to guess. I'm not certain. You know what I'm realizing too? If we do get Ghost Friend, we do want Kunoichi too, probably on this run. So the Ghost Friend starts going off. Hmm. Uh. By that same logic. You know what? Actually, fuck it. Let's say watch and learn. We do we do have uh, close combat, so vision range isn't useless. It's not that good, but it isn't like trash, garbage, bad, worthless here. It's fine. But yeah, anyway, I would like to do videos maybe about axe throwing, but I just it's 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 weird because of the potential doxing thing, right? I do not want people to know where I work. I'm sorry to say, uh, you know, I don't want you showing up at my place of business. Not that I think, I mean, not that I think anyone watching this would. I would like to imagine, at least, that most of the people watching my videos are pretty level-headed. Uh, oh man, I think it takes soul power here. I think, I think these are both really good. I think here it's a little soul-powered action for us. We're not picking this up yet though. We want to get the, uh, the perk for spears. And make it whenever you uh, get a spirit heart, you get uh, a plus 10, plus 15 flat damage. I forget which one. But that would be really good in these spears, too. I will take this, though. Get Tome of Summoning. That's very good, obviously. I bet these runs are super dependent on getting Tomes of Summoning. I'm now realizing that's probably a huge deal. If you get double Tome of Summoning, you probably like increase your kill count by like a huge percentage, as opposed to getting one or, or obviously zero, two would be less. Uh, Train Dragon here, very good pickup for us too. I'm liking where we're at here. This is all looking pretty good to me. The Ghost Friend thing was more of a meme as far as what you should do there. I don't think you should specifically only go Ghost Friend. I think you're probably better off kill count wise to get multiple summons. Um, instead of just the one Ghost Friend getting pumped off dedication. But it was fun to see. There's Trainer. We do want Trainer. Also, very excited for when Feed the Beast gets fixed. That is 100% not functioning. And damn, these runs are going to go off when it starts working correctly. It's gonna, it's gonna go uh, wacky, silly, wild, for sure. I should probably try to be standing stiller. Um, I, you know, it's it's not a hundred percent literally confirmed, but it is pretty obvious to me at least that move moving around a lot does affect uh, spawn rates negatively. I should be probably doing a little bit of a better job staying still. But also, uh, oh well. Maybe it is honestly just that it's easier to collect experience if you don't move around too much because it all stays clustered in one spot. Maybe that's literally just it, but I'm not convinced. So, like, I forgot I forgot that uh, dragon shoots in the direction your cursor is facing. I have been not paying attention at all to where the dragon's popping shots. That would probably be useful to aim it at uh, bigger clusters of enemies. So... Soul Conversion, useful for Holy Spear for when we eventually get higher max HP. We could also just take the Holy Spear here. I think we do that because I want to also get the... Uh, 
the other effect. Did I pick up that spirit heart? I did, didn't I? God damn. Oh well, whatever. What are you gonna do? Kids these days. There's a new one. Okay, we can we can redeem ourselves here. Do not pick up that spirit heart. Wait till you get the perk that gives bonus damage to the spears. It's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Also, we're getting a little swarmed right now. Dragon friend, save us. Mm, these all suck. This does stone cold nothing. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't do nothing. Soothing warmth with the dragon does help a little bit technically. This does stone cold nothing for us. This does pretty much. I mean, we already have. We are, so here's what. We, are, we already have the sniper, right? So what penetration does is that is that it adds no blow. It removes the perk from the pool without adding anything new. We could take Divine Wrath, but Divine Wrath does add Stalwart Shield, which is also garbage for us if we're trying to get a high kill count. But I think, but it does add Lightning. I don't think the Lightning is worth it though. It's one bolt every two seconds. Oh, it's every second actually. Why do I think it was every two seconds? I don't know. Maybe Lightning Bug is every two seconds. I don't know. But anyway, Divine Wrath is very stinky. I don't think it's worth the damage. Let me take Penetration. Oh, and there goes my shield. I'm glad, I know. I'm glad we didn't take it. <laughs> I will say I'm a little bit worried about uh, how many boys are here, though. This is more than I was anticipating. Uh, magic lens is a summon. It does buff dragon shots. Sure. Why not? Try my best to fire through the lens if I can. But the dragon and the and the lens rotating on you know opposite not planes but opposite opposite directions is a little, little tricky. Okay, uh the same logic here. We already have watch and learn, so taking a recharger does not add any bloat to the pool. We'll take that. Okay, we're, we're hanging on. Pulsing summons is probably okay here. We have quite a few of them flying around. Let me take that. And we get the, you know, the flat damage increase too, which is nice. Okay. How do I have four spirit hearts? I heard myself pick one up just now. I was going to ask what that was, and I realized pretty quickly, so I didn't say it out loud. Get that one in my internal monologue there, but uh Soul Link. Or Matt, you know I like Soul Link more, I think. If we do get hit, it's gonna wipe the field out for us basically, which is nice. And I think it's an interesting thing here too. I've seen people say that 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 you should not take uh that you should not take uh soul conversion. Um, cause it's a little tricky to make work correctly here. I think I want soul conversion. I think, I think the, the flat damage increase to, uh, magic spears is worth it. I understand the logic of like intentionally losing soul hearts to trigger, uh, soul link. And if you get your HP too high, you lose the ability to, uh, do that. But as long as we just manage it correctly and like intentionally take damage, so we don't get, uh, our, our thing up to hundred percent maximum. I think it'll be fine. I think it'll be okay. But I understand the logic there of of not uh, not getting your HP high. I gotta stop picking up soul hearts, dude. Okay, here here we take power. Oh no, here we take haste. Probably here we take haste. And again, the idea is Kunoichi Ghost Friend. We already have. We don't even have assassin yet either, huh? The game's not giving us much here to work with. But power shots fine there. Again, flat bolt damage is okay because it'll give us. Uh, It'll give us increased damage for our curses. There's Ma there's Soul Knight. Okay, this is a big one. This is why I was trying to not pick up Spirit Hearts, and I ended up just picking up every Spirit Heart I saw instead. Because every enemies were dying too close to me. But now we just pick them all up.
I mean, this, and you know what we can do also? We can just hit ourselves on trees on purpose if we're worried about, uh, worried about HPs. It is an option you always have on, uh, on, on this map as opposed to the pumpkin patch where you're, you're forced to collide into enemies. And if you have too many summons, you might just be like too strong and you just can't get hit. It is a possibility. Okay, here we go. Here's where the fun starts. Okay. There goes my shield. Oopsie doopsie. I don't think the coughing's gonna last very long here. If I was to guess. These dragon shots are doing quite a bit of damage. Oh. I took a little bit of damage there. Uh, I guess I'll take Feed the Beast. It doesn't do anything, but it's not adding much bloat to our pool. It's adding, no again, adding no bloat. Okay, well. What do we got here? Okay, we got Shadow Flame now. So now, now Ritual's basically offline, but that's still fine. Oh, that's why Pyromage is good for us, because Intense Burn, I forgot about that. Damn. Never mind, Pyromage does have application. My bad, I forgot. That's a, that's a, that's a big, big oof on my part. Not the end of the world that we didn't take Pyromage before. I forget what we took instead of it, but I'm sure it was just like, you know, something to mitigate bloat. So it probably wasn't too bad. Uh, okay. Genuinely tough choice for me here. I think you take Assassin before you take Ghost Friend. But it's a tough one for me here. Yeah, there you go, Assassin. Just lowering everyone's HP seems really good here. It was a long time to see it, by the way. Oh, just took a hit there, my bad. Okay, I'm just, there seems to be like a delay on the exploders exploding there, and I just like walked into it mid explosion. Weird. Okay, we're getting a little overwhelmed here. Soul Drain seems pretty good. Basically doubling the amount of Spirit Hearts we're going to get. I don't know if enemies killed by uh, curses applied by summons affect uh, this perk. My guess is no. I feel like it has to be like a direct summon attack that lands the killing blow if I had to guess. That's fine. Um... Yeah, give me hell spawns. Sure, why not? Okay. There's a little there's a little soul soul link triggering there. Uh Bloodsucker doesn't do anything for us really. I'll take blazing speed. Again, we want we want Kunoichi to show up here, and we want to get Ghost Friend to combo with it. Maybe I should have taken the Ghost Friend. I don't know. That's a tough choice, I feel like. A little extra Soul Heart action in there. Dragon Bond does nothing for us. These all suck. I guess I'll take... I think I'll take Excitement to not add Bloat. Let's give us a pickup range increase, so it's not nothing. And if we do get Ghost Friend to eventually have the fire rate uh, thing, um, that will be impactful too, in theory. Not that impactful, but it will be something. Okay, the game does not like me right now. I've never skipped as many double shots in my life, I feel like. The damn shame. 
but it is what it is. Just walk into that man, my bad. Okay. Uh, it's all bad. All really bad. I don't want glare for this build. I know we have the close combat thing. Lighting lens is also bad. You know what? Fuck it. Give me glare. Why not? Let's see big here. Why not? Okay, we have we have Shogi here. Should get close to Shogi so that way Spear can get some hits in. Okay. How long does this MF for? Oh, not very long. Okay, never mind. We got him. So, unfortunately, no double summons here, but we'll take Tome of Power. The increased bullet damage doesn't increase our curse damage. Tome of Rage will help if we get uh, we get Ghost Friend to get the, the fire rate buff. At this point, we might not even see Ghost Friend, and then also the bullet damage hit that that gives us is also significant. You know, the, fire rate, the fire rate nerf is also important, too, to keep in mind. But, and I'm not that worried. Okay. I get that. Let me out. Excuse me. I'd like to leave the room now, please. Uh, stalwart shield. Whatever. Fuck me. Thank you. Oh, hello, Terry. Terry, how's it going? How you been? How's your mother? Uh, we have a spirit heart on the ground behind Terry. Let's see if we can get to that real quick. God, this game, this game hates me today. It's giving me some doo doo perks here. I'll take sight magic. I don't think this is necessarily bad RNG. I'll take this. Whatever. I don't think this is necessarily bad RNG. I just think that it's not good. <laughs> That's how I'd put it here, I think. We did get the ritual pretty quickly, which is important. But that's the only thing we've got that mattered. Everything else, it's just been so many double shots, man. What are you gonna do, though? Right? What are you gonna. Hey, power shot? Intense glare? We need power shot, I don't know. Let's get Splinter in the mix. Let's get wild with it. We are doing pretty good level-wise. I don't know where we'll end at here. Uh, we already have Blazing Speed. I guess I'll just take Culling. Okay. You know, I wonder if the, uh, when the bird hits, right? I wonder if when the bird makes contact, let's do it. At this point, why not, right? Okay. I feel like our bullet damage should be high enough for the splinter shots to actually be impactful damage-wise, right? Am I crazy for thinking that? Get the spirit heart up here. Maybe I am, I don't know. I'm trying to see how much they're doing. It's looking like only like, like 20 damage when they detonate or something. Well, that ain't too shabby. And now I'm taking actual damage damage here, which is unfortunate. 
Yeah, give me give me saccade. Sure. And give me my 14th double shot, please. I'd really appreciate it. Now this game's got me wondering if like certain perks are weighted more heavily than others. The double shot is an important good perk, and I feel like I always get it when I need it. But now I'm thinking maybe, hey, is double shot show up more often than other perks, maybe? That was going on here. Also, I'm dying. Give me some more spirit hearts, maybe. The enemies are getting too close to me. There we go. Intense burn, perfect. So now we have no room for a spirit hearts left. We have a minute left in the run. There's no spirit heart room. What happens if we pick up a spirit heart? Let's see. Nothing. Stone cold nothing happens there, it looks like. Okay. This is, is okay, this is looking bad. I'm trying my best to avoid the splinters. But it's not easy. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Stop it! Where is Ghost Friend, man? I miss Ghost Friend. We need Ghost Friend here. Ghost Friend would know what to do. Okay, we got three HP remaining. Get a shield up. Shield's gone. Okay, ten seconds left. What? Oh, what? Oh, oh. No! <laughs> oh, well, that was kind of funny. <laughs> and you know what? Hey, never said we had to live the run. 15k kills, not terrible. I What did we have? We had like 16k on the Scarlet run, right? Anyway, well, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Splinter was worth it. <laughs> it was fun to see it. It was fun to see it, and we almost survived. You know what I'm thinking, too? Uh, we took Bloodsuckers, right? Didn't we at some point? Maybe we skipped it. I think we skipped it, actually. Never mind. I was going to say, like, it didn't drop any healing items. And you know what? I think I think this also did kind of kill us in a way. That's interesting. I guess I guess this does kind of just suck. I thought the max the max HP thing would really be useful with Magic Spear. Didn't really matter. Did not really matter that much, it looked like, at the end there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully I will see you next time. Uh, Goodbye.